my young friend. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I need to ask a favor of you. A delivery awaits me at the docks, a very rare orchid, all the way from the island of Madagascar. But there is a problem. One of my associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. I need you to collect it for me first. Thank you, my young friend, thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. It would have been a shame to lose it. Shame indeed. Thank you.
My write-up of that last crime was so ingenious that Perlock Publishing tossed me quite a tidy sum. I believe this next... I should return and find out about this. Don't move a furlong. I'm with ya! I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Mr. Cashin is dead? I just saw him yesterday. He looked in the peak of health. 
If you ask me, he paid a bit too much attention to the caretaker's wife. Scandalous, really. They must have seen each other nearly every day. Last night, I was knitting in that chair. Then I felt quite sickly and opened the window to clear my head. I certainly didn't hear anything. When the lights quit working yesterday, that sweet Mr. Golden handed out candles to everyone. He's such a nice man. When the lights quit working yesterday, that sweet Mr. Golden handed out candles to everyone. He's such a nice man. Gone just like that, eh? He lived right next door and often came home from his concerts a bit drunk and singing at the top of his lungs. Drove my wife near crazy. Cashin had an eye for the ladies, no question. I was a bit jealous of him, frankly. <laughs> I was down in the cellar fiddling with my experiments. I'm an amateur chemist. Henman let me set up a few experiments in the cellar. That belongs to Mr. Golden. He's an awfully nice chap. We let him use our apartment during the day when my wife and I are out tending our shop. He likes to rehearse here where the light's better. I'm just the housekeeper, but Mr. Cashin was a dear friend. Each morning I bring him his coffee. Today his door was locked shut. My husband is the caretaker. We live downstairs. We have the keys to all the apartments, so after knocking, I became concerned and let myself in and found him like this. <laughs> the lights weren't working. My husband didn't want to waste any candles, so we retired early. <laughs> it's true. I loved him. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Mr. Cashin is... was a respected music critic. A very accomplished man. Well, now, I didn't ask about this. I worked very late. So did he. I only met him once or twice in the two years I've been living here. I was out giving a benefit recital for unemployed musicians. Several dozen people can attest to my whereabouts. I use them to create an ambience when I hold private recitals. someone could tell me more about this. I 
I should go back and ask about this. I should go back and ask about this. I'm in charge of the running and upkeep of the whole building, so I can get dirty now and then. I was just doing some work in the basement. Mr. Cashin's dead. Oh. Difficult to believe. He led a quiet life. Ah. Out at concerts most nights, shut up in his room writing the rest of the time. He must have been a lonely man. My wife felt sorry for him and helped him as often as she could. I forgot to put it away after I fixed Mr. Ah. Golden's music stand yesterday morning. I left it there, and he came to give it back. The gas quit working yesterday. I don't know enough to fix such things safely myself. A man from the company is going to come by tomorrow. Yes, be careful with that. It can be dangerous. It reacts badly with heat. I was down in the cellar, fiddling with my experiments. In any case, why on earth would I want to kill that old sod? I never had any problem with a man. What? With my wife? That bastard. He destroyed an entire orchestra. All those musicians put out of work. A rancorous old man who had no talent or creativity of his own. I suspect there was more to that mystery than meets the eye. I'm going to look into it. Off to the clink with you! Thank you. 